Hello, Taurus viewers. I'm going to be looking into what your person is thinking, feeling, what action they might be taking towards you the next couple of weeks. We'll just see what this story is. So for the Tauruses that are drawn to this video, what do you need to know right now? Taurus is drawn to this video. What do you need to know right now? Chaser, Chasey, power struggle, vulnerability and receptivity, manipulation and deception. Kind of goes along with the this group that I've been channeling. It's like you guys are just coming out of this phase where I think you were kind of attracted to like abusive or just negative people and you're you're ending that cycle and you're reclaiming your passion and power and moving on to bigger things. I think there was a karmic partner that you kept going around in circles with and I feel like lately you've been kind of just letting that go you're kind of just tired of that you've got truth clarity sense of belonging home safe space fast moving energy sudden turn of events finances and career and then love offer and commitment Yeah, I think that you were really vulnerable and receptive to somebody. You were very open with them, and it just didn't really come around. It's like they just made everything a power struggle. They made everything this chaser chasey game. It's like you had to do all the work. You had to chase them. They just played head games. They just wanted to have their cake and eat it too, and it's like you were so vulnerable and so open with this person, but they couldn't get past their ego. They couldn't stop playing these stupid games with you. They were kind of a manipulator, someone who's very, you know, manipulative, deceptive. It's like you were kind of blinded here by your feelings for this person. You let them whisper in your ear and, you know, get away with their crap. And, and you listen to whatever they, they told you. And you listen to their lies, their excuses, their manipulation. It's like a very seductive, manipulative, deceptive energy here where it's like they make excuses for their behavior you know they say oh i'm sorry i haven't messaged you for days i've just been busy uh just constant lies and manipulation and you know that hurt you a lot there's some damage that you're still healing from because you were so vulnerable and open with this person and they just let you down so much but i feel like you're moving past that so i think that you've either you're, you're off this karmic cycle. That's what I keep getting for this group. Like, I kept channeling over and over again, like, you guys going on this merry-go-round ride with the karmic. But the last reading and then this reading, I'm getting a different energy here. Like, you guys have finally given up on that. And you're finally moving forward to bigger and better things. And you have new love coming in here. You know, I think you're getting some truth and clarity about the connection with that karmic that you were with. You're realizing you're just you're seeing things more clearly you might have just found out some secrets about your person or maybe you're you're you know in the process of finding out some secrets some some harsh truths that you didn't want to face that are being kind of put in your face now and you're just you're realizing that it's just a karmic connection. I think you thought it was like a twin flame or a life partner or soulmate, and you're realizing it was just a karmic cycle that you kept getting caught up in and that it was just, it wasn't as deep as you thought it was or as you wanted it to be. You know, you guys were just kind of going in circles with this person for a long time. So the truth is being revealed and coming out and you're getting clarity. And I think you're going to look back and you're going to be really thankful that you did not end up with that person because you wouldn't have been as happy as you thought you would have been. And so we've got here sense of belonging, home, safe space, fast moving energy, chaos, sudden turn of events. Yeah, I think a lot of life changes are going to happen for you practically overnight where it's like you're going to realize this person was not your safe space safe, safe space they weren't your home the way you wanted them to be or the way you thought you were so you're you're re 
redefining what home looks like to you, what safety and belonging looks like to you. I've got very just sudden turn of events, very fast moving energy. I think you've got I think this fast moving energy is regarding both finances and career and also a love offer, commitment. Like you might be surprised how quickly you move on from this karmic partner onto a soulmate or onto a twin flame, someone who's who's going to come in and want to commit to you in ways that the other person didn't want to commit to you. You might also have a lot of changes going on financially and with your career and just your home life in general. Just a lot of, of quick overnight changes. You might be coming into a new career, um, learning new skills. Just, yeah, there's a lot going on for you this month over the next couple weeks. Let's see what else we can get on this. Um, let's try to look into the new partner because we've been channeling the, the toxic karmic partner for a while now and I'm really happy that you guys are finally letting go of that and moving on and you know, working on healing that and, re and releasing that and working on this, this pattern that you guys have with toxic people. You're, you're really working on yourself and you're, you're making some really powerful, important life decisions right now. So let's see this this love offer, this commitment coming in. What can you tell me about that? What is what does that look like? What is going on with that person, with this new person coming in, not the karmic, the new love that is coming in. What do we need to know about it? Yeah, message, open, honest communication, new perspective, uh, listening and understanding. So true love and abundance now flows to you naturally and effortlessly as a result of your open-mindedness, faith, and bravery. It's like before you were stagnant and complacent, but things are starting to open up for you finally. Um, anger, miscommunication, sex, and seduction, hesitation, mixed feelings dreams visions telepathy a third party distraction which might not necessarily be a third person it just could be just a, a outside energy and then we have assertiveness forward movement courage uh, motivation yeah i think it's just more emphasis on you know that you do have love coming in there's still some damage that you really need to work on you might need closure with the karmic. You might need to send a message just for your own sake. Not for them, not for hope of reconciling, just for closure. Like, but don't don't entertain it again. You know what I mean? You don't want to go back to that energy. But just maybe just it could even be writing something down and burning it. You know, we got the candle here. Maybe writing something down, like writing a message out to them and like ritually burning it. Because you want to get into this new perspective where love just flows to you naturally, where you just kind of un have this higher perspective where you understand why things had to happen the way that they did. I feel like maybe there's still some anger and some bitterness there because of the miscommunication with this karmic. It's like there's still some chakra blocks, especially like root and heart chakra blocks that you've got to work through some like stagnation and complacency and just pain that's kind of turned into anger and frustration because of the miscommunication on all the problems you had with the karmic. I feel like maybe they kind of used you for sex, like maybe it was like a seductive relationship, like it was fun, but they weren't as serious about you as you were about them. And so there's still some pain there and so you do need some closure, even if the closure is just writing a message pouring it all out and burning it just just getting that out there you know i think you are coming to the to this these realizations this this truth you know you know that your person you know this karmic had mixed feelings that they hesitated that they weren't really right for you i think you're just struggling to trust yourself right now because you really thought that this was your person you thought this was your twin flame or your soulmate and now you're realizing it was just a karmic connection and that there's better out there for you, but I think it's still painful for you because you put so much, you invested so much into that, you waited for so long, you invested so much, and I think it's still kind of just hurting you that it didn't work out the way you wanted it to work out. 
you know, your dreams and visions and your guides, you know, telepathically, they've been trying to communicate this to you for a while, like trying to show you the red flags and trying to show you that this third party distraction, it's just a karmic partner. It's just a distraction. It's just something that just kind of kept you tied down. And it's going to take some courage and assertiveness and motivation to really move forward here, to move past this energy and heal from this. Um, I think you're, you know, the, the truth has been revealed. So you just need that closure. And again, that closure might just be you writing all of it down on a piece of paper and just burning it in a ritual just for yourself. Just, just get it out there. I think that you are, you're moving forward finally, which is important. You know, you're not in denial about the connection anymore. You're, you're embracing the fact that this was a karmic partner. You're admitting that you were wrong about them. And you're moving forward to someone better. So let's see the let's see the better energy. So yeah, we have a healing process we gotta get through, but what's what's the um the new love coming in? Show me something about that. Let's let's give me give me at least a little bit on that. Let's see what's going on with that. What's going on with the new love coming in? Yeah, I feel like your guides have been wanting to bring this person in for a while, but they have to make sure that you're completely done with the karmic before they do because they don't want you to sabotage it. They don't want you to, they don't want to bring you this soulmate or this twin flame, like your actual potential life partner. They don't want to bring that person in and then have you run back to the toxic karmic and sabotage this potential life partner connection and hurt this person you know what i mean so divine timing is definitely at play here like they're making sure that you've really let go of the karmic completely and that you've you know mostly healed from that um before they bring in this new connection because they just they want to make sure that you guys do it right they don't want you to sabotage this this person that's coming in apology regrets Pause, reflection, rest, confusion, uncertainty, beauty, mystery, and enchantment, soulmate, past life connection, soul contract, choose a path, and sense of belonging, home, safe space. Yeah, you might get at a, a sooner or later, you might get an apology from the karmic. You might get some regret from them, but I think it's just them kind of wanting to have their cake and eat it too. It's like they want you when they can't have you. And so you have to, when this apology comes in, you need to take a minute to pause and rest and reflect on the apology, really think about it and really consider it. Like, are they genuinely apologizing or are they just feeling that you're pulling away and they want to pull you back in so they can have their cake and eat it too. But as soon as they have you again, they're just going to do whatever the fuck they want. And you're going to be left confused and uncertain about how they feel again and in the dark, you know, just kind of blinded by your love for them and not able to see the truth about how toxic this person is. Um, and you have this other path where you can reclaim your beauty and your mystery and this enchanted energy. You can go down this new road. It's also kind of saying like, yeah, you're beautiful and mysterious when you're being distant. But once they pull you back in, it's like you're old reliable again and they just take you for granted. So it's not a good energy from them. And Yeah, there could be like a soul contract with them. You got to end as well. And it's saying choose the path because you do, you have something better. If you're willing to fully let this go, you do have something better. You do have someone that's actually going to make you feel at home. That's actually going to be your safe space. That's actually going to be, you know, there for you. Um, that's going to be reliable and supportive. I don't know if they'll give me too much on the new person because I think they want it to kind of just unfold naturally. They want to just see what happens. You know, they want to let it unfold naturally. They want you to heal and to let go of control issues and to trust them and just just let things unfold. So sometimes they won't give you information on the new person because of that. So it just kind of has to play out. But let's see if we can get anything on the new person.
Yeah, passion and romance. So new perspective, true love and abundance now flows to you as a result of your open-mindedness, faith, and bravery. So again, kind of trusting in divine timing, letting go of all the, of the toxic X, letting go of the karmic, the, the things that are no longer serving you, um, putting yourself first more, just being open and just kind of trusting the process and letting things flow and letting go of all the toxic stagnant energy and doing uncrossing and healing work on yourself. You know, you do have passion and romance coming in. And I think this person coming in is going to help you see things from a new, higher perspective. Like you're going to you're gonna be with this potential life partner and you're going to look back and you're going to really be thankful that you didn't end up with the other person. You're going to understand. You're going to have this higher perspective and you're going to understand why things had to happen the way they, they did. You're going to understand what the lesson was from that past karmic relationship. And you're just going to have this new passion and romance and you're just going to be so glad that you didn't end up and settle for for the karmic, you know. Um, and you're going to have, yeah, you're going to have a phase of, of maybe mental instability, confusion, uncertainty, just some damage left over from the karmic. But I see that this new person, that there's mutual feelings there. There's emotional depth. There's a lot of care and concern there. You see the way he's holding her, the way they're kind of holding and embracing each other. It's like you're going to have this mutual feelings. And I think finally being heard and understood and loved equally in return is going to help you heal from the karmic. And I think this person is going to help you get through the confusion and the mental instability and the trust issues. Like, they're going to work through that with you. They're going to understand that you're damaged and they're going to be patient with you. You know, you might have codependency issues from the karmic or whatever, but it's like you're going to have, you're going to come into this willpower and, and strength and confidence and and let go of that codependency with the karmic let go of that addiction you're recognizing it's just an addiction you're recognizing it's just codependency it's not true love but what you have with this new person coming in is actually true love it is something more stable it is somebody who's very empathetic somebody who's going to be, support you a lot somebody who's going to be patient and understanding with you somebody who's going to love you just as much as you love them so you have some support coming in um so definitely keep on your path, you know, keep letting the karmic go no matter how hard it is. Just let that person go. Definitely just keep healing from that. Keep letting it go. Block their number, block them on social media, do whatever you have to do to block them and get rid of their energy. Can we get any final messages? I hope the karmic doesn't come through because sometimes they do. Let's try to get final messages from the, uh, the new life partner coming in, not the karmic don't come through karmic don't do it don't do it don't want none of that okay i communicate with you through songs and movies so yeah telepathic com communication uh with this this new person it's like your soul's I think your soul is kind of new, like you guys were trying to find each other, but your guides had to make you wait until you finally let go of the karmic completely and cut and clear them and just cut that relationship out. They had to wait until you were actually done with the karmic so that they could bring this person in because they didn't want you to sabotage it because this is a potential life partner, I feel. So yeah, you guys were in telepathic communication before you even met in the physical realm. I'm trapped in a stagnant, unhappy situation. I'm drained and distracted. Hmm. Probably the karmic coming through trying to make excuses. We're going to ignore that one. <laughs> Sometimes I cry over you. Yeah, the karmic is probably going to be trying to trying to manipulate you and bring you back in. And you have to be strong and you have to not... you you got to see through that bullshit. You really do. You have to know what you do you have to know who you are and you have to know what you deserve and what you want out of a relationship and you have to not settle for less than what you deserve and want they're going to try to play off your empathy again and play mind games and drag you back in but once they have you it's going to be the same old shit and they're going to take you for granted again so you got to be strong yeah i can't handle being apart from you any longer so you know this new love was really getting impatient trying to find you and they finally found you and they feel like they hit the jackpot or they're about to find you and they're going to feel like they hit the jack jackpot you're so emp empathetic kind and thoughtful it's inspiring me to open up to you so this person is going to admire all the traits about you this other person took for granted 
I'm afraid of getting hurt, but I'm willing to take a leap of faith for you. So another big difference between the true love and the karmic is that this new person is actually going to realize that you're worth the risk. They're not going to be afraid of, they're not going to hide, they're not going to hide from you. They're not going to hold on to their fear. They're not going to sabotage it. They're not going to play head games. They're not going to hold on to their pride. They're going to realize there is a risk of them getting hurt, but they're going to realize they're going to see you as beautiful and empathetic and amazing and kind and ins inspirational. And so they're going to take the leap of faith and open up to you anyway, despite their fear. I thought about going on vacation with you. So they've thought about traveling with you. They've thought about what it might be like to have a life with you. Gossip and rumors played a role in our separation. Hmm. Gossip and rumors. I think it's just, again, a warning to let go of the karmic. I want to be open, honest, and vulnerable. I want to tell you my secrets. So yeah, this is somebody who actually wants to build and grow with you. Unlike the karmic, this person does want to be open and honest and vulnerable. They don't want to play head games. They want to tell you how they feel. They want to be open with you. They want to build trust with you. They want to take their time with you, getting to know you. They really want to build a strong foundation with you. And they want a relationship where you guys can just tell each other your secrets without having to worry that they're going to be exploited, you know, and just being able to be so open and honest with each other. So it's a really beautiful relationship coming in. Just again, let go of the karmic, just a strong emphasis, be strong. The karmic, again, like I said, I know there, I know I keep repeating it, but it's such a strong emphasis. Like the karmic probably will try to weasel the way, their way back around and they'll try to play on their empathy and they'll try to say they're so sad over you and they messed up and they did this and that and they'll fix it they're it's really going to be different this time and then it's an abusive relationship it's a it's a mentally and verbally or possibly even physically abusive relationship that you had with the karmic there for some of you there could have been potential for physical abuse if you if it had not happened already so don't let them pull you back in because you have to remind yourself once they have you, they're going to take you for granted and they're going to do whatever you, whatever they want. So you have to stay strong. You really have to just block them on social media, block them on your phone. Try not to see them. Try not to run into them. Keep healing. Keep releasing them. Just stay strong no matter what. Keep releasing them. Keep healing. Stay on your path. And then you have this true love coming in. And again, you're going to be so thankful you're going to see why it didn't work out with anybody else. You're going to you're just going to be so glad that you have this person. They're going to be so supportive of you. They're going to be so inspired by you. They're going to support you despite if you have like mental illness or or insecurities or damage from the karmic, they're going to they're going to be by your side anyway. They're going to work through all that with you. They're going to be a very strong support system. This is somebody who really knows who they are and knows what they want and they're going to be consistent with you and and, and they're going to want to build a life with you they're going to want to take their time gaining trust on both sides and maybe traveling with you experiencing life with you exploring with you really getting to know you on a deep level opening up to you like they really want something stable and solid and long term with you and, and again, you're going to be so happy and you're going to be so glad that you didn't settle for the karmic. So please continue letting the karmic go and continue opening yourself up to this new true love that's coming in. Um, thank you guys for watching. And if you want to purchase either of these decks, just email me. Um, I don't have them up. I don't have my shop up yet, so I don't have them up. But you can email me and I can uh, you can PayPal me and I'll send you the decks. I also do paid private readings. All my information, my email and everything is in the description box below. So thanks for watching. Oh, and subscribe if it resonates too.